Here's how to make tape gloves for climbing that hand crack without getting all gobied up. First step is to put cross pieces along the back of your hand. Eyeball the width of your hand. Cover those knuckles. Some people make these strips a little narrower or a little wider. Just a matter of preference, really. I like to cover as much as possible. Reduce the damage. The goal when taping, whether you're taping an ankle or making a tape glove for your hands, of course, is always to prevent wrinkles. You want the tape stuck nice and flat to your skin. Wrinkles will be potentially uncomfortable and it's also less, when you create a wrinkle that's less adhesive, making contact with your hand, with your skin. Okay, I could have gone straight to the wrist wrap with that one, but that's all right. So having now done my basic layers, there we go, I'm going to put one wrap all the way around my wrist. This is going to be the anchor that I'm going to fasten the finger loops to. I want it to be a good anchor. I want it to come all the way around and fasten to itself. No wrinkles. That'll do. Okay, so now I'm going to make finger loops that hold the whole thing together and each one will attach there. To conserve tape and also make the finger loops less uncomfortable where they pass between your fingers, most people start using a narrower strip of tape here. Just tear it in half. And I want that to attach to my anchor. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. I can just tuck it in and that makes it even more bomber. And that's going to go around the finger. And hopefully it'll gather up this little flappy end in the process. And I'm trying to be gentle. I'm not really pulling too tight. If this is really tight right there where you've got that sensitive skin between your fingers, that will get uncomfortable. So I want to build in a little bit of slack there. And anchor the other end there as well. There we go. Okay. Do the same thing for the thumb. Again, trying to lock down these ends. With the thumb loop, you can kind of try to be slick and both gather up those loose ends and continue into a wrap all the way around, reinforcing the anchor around your wrist there. I'll probably do that with the pinky loop too. When I finish the pinky loop, I'll go all the way around. But I won't do that with the loops over the fingers. And there's no one right or wrong way to do this. I can't even say I do it exactly the same way every time. This is the basic idea though. If you got extra, you can tuck it under there. Come around the middle finger again. This is where I'm trying not to pull it super tight because I don't want that sensitive skin between my fingers getting pulled on too much. Try and press it down real good and then maybe I can do the one hand tear without tightening it and making it painful. 
no wrinkles. Yeah, looking good so far. Okay, ring finger. Sometimes people skip one or more fingers. They'll just make two of the three finger loops. See how I'm doing? I'm going one, two, three, around all three of my largest fingers. Uh, the way I was taught actually skips that loop, but I'm in the habit of doing it. If you're gonna put on tape gloves, you might as well put on tape gloves. <laughs> Lots of tape. Oh, that one didn't want to tear. Well, that happens. I think that one's too twisted on itself to be useful, so I'm going to carefully pull that off without undoing anything else. And do that one again. hand tape rip went a little better that time that's a little tight just leave a little bit this is crucial leave a little bit of slack in there so it's not hurting you while you're trying to climb you're potentially gonna have these on for a long time and the best style is when you're done for the day to just slice right there and peel them off and then they're reusable. You just put it back on the next day like a glove, put a new wrap around your wrist. So it's worth putting a little effort into them. They can be, this tape glove could be my little buddy for a whole season. I had a pair of tape gloves that I wore for, gosh, I don't know, over a year at one point. Okay, so if I'm slick here, I can gather these ends into that wrap and then turn it into a wrist wrap and just, yeah, that's a little tight, just finish the whole thing like that. So in general, what I'm going for here is snug, but not so tight that it's cutting off circulation. That's a little tighter on that last wrist wrap than is really ideal. Um, but I can fix that, right? I can find the end, or can I? There it is. Could undo that last wrap and make it just kind of flex a little bit so that as I get that on there, it's not, yeah, that feels pretty good. Get rid of all the little wrinkles. Yeah, that'll protect my knuckles and some hand jams. You can double, you know, any part of it if you want to make it extra beefy. Just do another wrap around each finger, another three wraps over the top, another wrap around each finger. You can make them super beefy, but this is your basic tape glove and like I said this is reusable just slice right there and peel it off and then put it on like a glove next time you want to use it and put a wrap around the wrist.